Welcome to my current events page and topics page. And today, you know me, I like to look into prophecy. Are we witnessing the prophecy of Joel begin to unfold before our eyes? Again, this is in Times um, Headlines. Um, opinion from Ricky Escaparo. In the Word of God, there is an ominous warning regarding the last days and how it appears to vindicate that humanity would experience violent volcanic eruptions in the earth prior to the coming of the Lord. In fact, the following passage of the book of Joel gives us an image of what this will look like. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. Joel 2, 30, 31. The prophet indicated that when this event begins to unfold, we would witness eruptions that would be so great that the ash cloud of the eruptions would black out the sun during the day and cause the moon to be as blood at night. I remember back in the Gulf War when Saddam Hussein set fires to the oil fields in Iraq and the image is depicted on the main street news showing the moon looking like blood from the fires and the smoke that burned throughout the night. If anyone has been paying attention to the news lately, we can definitely see how it appears that this event is definitely reflecting what we are reading and seeing in the news lately. <clears throat> Excuse me. For example, a recent article we shared went viral, viral reporting of multiple volcanoes erupting around the world, which included the Shishaldin volcano in Alaska, Mexico's, oh boy, I'm going to butcher this name, Popocatépetl volcano, sorry, that recently erupted back into life and has a deadly track record of burying entire Aztec cities in superheated mud and went dormant for about 1,000 years and began to reawaken again in the 1990s. The Subancaya volcano in Peru recently mm. erupted and of course the recent explosive eruption of the Tal volcano in the Philippines in which the recent report in indicates that it is continuously erupting, spark sparking fears for hundreds of thousands of residents with a staggering 466 volcano, volcanic earthquakes recorded since Sunday. That's a lot. One thing is for certain, if we are truly entering the time that this prophecy of Joel is coming to fruition, then we haven't seen anything yet, and we are about to see even greater volcanic activity. We will likely witness more eruptions around the world and ancient volcanoes that have suddenly I mean, that have been dormant for years will suddenly awaken. I don't want to leave you with all the grim news here. The good news is twofold. At the beginning of this prophecy by Joel, he indicates that there would be a great outpouring of the Holy Spirit that would also sweep the globe in the midst of the disasters unfolding on the earth. Praise God. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall, see, shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions. And also on my men servants and on my maid servants, I will pour out my spirit in those days. Joel chapter 2 verses 28 and 29. And lastly, the prophet Joel said that these things must take place before the great and awesome day of the Lord. So just as Jesus told us in the Gospel of Luke, when we begin to see these things coming to pass, we should hold up our heads because our redemption is drawing near. Thanks for listening, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless you. May he keep you. And keep looking up. Don't forget to say your prayers.